A monoatomic gas in an amount of 0.136 moles undergoes a process described by the PV graph below. Pressure and volume are known at each state. Calculate the entropy change that this gas sample experiences transitioning from state 4 to state 1 through an unspecified thermal process. We mean it's neither isothermal nor adiabatic. From the labels in the graph, we know that from 1 to 2, it's an isothermal expansion. From 2 to 3, it's an adiabatic expansion. From 3 to 4, it's an isothermal compression. From 4 to 1, it is a compression, though it's neither adiabatic nor isothermal. So, first thing, the process from 1 to 2 is isothermal, so the change in internal energy is zero. Using the first law of thermodynamics, the heat exchange is equal to the work done by the gas, which is nRT1 logarithm of V2 over V1. By definition of entropy change, the entropy change is the heat exchange divided by the temperature, which is constant during the isothermal process. So we get nRT1 over T1, cancels, logarithm of V2 over V1. So now we're going to do the process from 2 to 3. It's adiabatic, which means no heat exchange. So the entropy will be the sum of the entropies for each piece of this process, but each piece has zero heat exchange. So it's a summation of zeros, so the answer is zero. In other words, entropy is constant, which is a general result for any adiabatic process. Next, there is an isothermal compression from 3 to 4. For the isothermal process from 3 to 4, the internal energy is constant, delta U equals 0, so using the first law of thermodynamics, again, the heat exchange going from 3 to 4 is equal to the work done on the gas, nRT3 logarithm of V4 over V3, where V4 is less than V3, so this quantity is actually negative. By definition of entropy change, we divide this by the temperature of the second isotherm, and it's nRT3 over T3, logarithm of V4 over V3. The three, three cancels, and now we are left with the last leg of the cycle. But it is a cyclical process, which means that the entropy, which is a function of state, should return to its initial value. So the sum of all entropy changes have to be zero. That means that we can solve for the fourth entropy change, delta S41, although we don't know anything about the uh, specific of the process. And again, it doesn't matter because the entropy is a function of state independent of the specific path. So we get nR logarithm V2 over V1 plus zero plus nR logarithm V4 over V3. With a little bit of algebra, we could solve for delta S for 1 and get nR times logarithm V3 over V4 minus logarithm V2 over V1. And reading out the values for the volumes V1, V2, V3, and V4 and substituting them, the answer is in fact negative. It's a decrease in entropy by 0 0.284 joules per Kelvin. Now try to answer this question.